Watch your crush on me, where you at your motivation guy? That's right, I am back. You know, the Fortnite FNCS Grand Finals just happened this past weekend, and man, where there's some crazy moments. You know, from insane clutches to other mastermind clutch calls, we saw it all, right? So in case you miss any of the action this weekend, don't worry, today I'm gonna cover some of the best moments from the FNCS Grand Finals. You guys ready for this? Let's get this going. So a lot of crazy moments happened in the FNCS Grand Finals in the endgame, but on day one of NA East, we saw an example of consistent strategic playmaking for one of the top teams in NA. This play wasn't the most flashy or the most exciting, but it showcases the skill and intelligence that makes this trio so good. It involves Edgy and Commandment on low ground, immediately after Sinted goes down with Saf, Avery, and Stretch on the high ground, making this a 2v3 with some of the best Fortnite players in the world. As we watch this clip, pay attention to how Edgy and Commandment masterfully play low ground. This is a free 50 pot. If they don't take any damage here, can they get it? And no, instead, Edgy gets punished here. That might be the deciding oh, no. difference. Sentin goes down too, and now it's a 2v3 situation. We don't get to see the Cinderella three on three that we were looking for. I love the way Edgy and Commandment stay right next to each other the entire time on low ground. Even when they spray at a high ground, they do so at the exact same time to maximize the effect they really have. And so the way Edgy and Commandment play low ground in this clip can really be studied to learn how to effectively play low ground yourself. Edgy, Scented, and Commandment always consistently dominate low ground. And it's through low ground that they managed to get second in the grand finals and win over $100,000. To dominate in their position, it's really important to really stick together, you know, to shoot together and develop a clear strategy of how to spray and take out the high ground team. All right, let me ask you this. Like, do you want a chance at winning the next FNCS? Then you have to check out ProGuides.com. Our master courses written by the best of the best, like Mongrel and Clicks, who will teach you everything that you need to know to play with some of the very best Fortnite players there. Check them out now with the link in the top right of the video. Bunch of crunch time. Okay, guys, so now it's time to take a look at a crazy moment that happened on day two of EU in the first game. This play really kicked things off with a bang. And they're gonna clean up the Slayer here, and they get Etsy, and they get Bad Sniper. Noah Riley and the Dion Reason are here in the end game, and they have the potential to pop off even more, baby! Low ground scrappy, high ground free. There's so many different types of scenes we're seeing so far in this game. One trio in the middle, Flick falls down, big fall damage. Noah Riley in his box. He's Got in a deal. pit of Vipers, and there's no chance he's gonna survive. It's too venomous. Thomas HD and Anas have to do this as a duo. They've done it before, but at the same time, there's so many different players of high calibers down below. Now here, and I mean like right here, I want you guys to look at Resin. Okay, so all of his teammates are dead. He's in absolute shambles and doesn't even have 100 health. With the duo on high ground with max health, a duo mid ground and a duo low ground, Rez doesn't have many places to go. So instead of just jumping into the storm to try to get as many placement points as possible, or simply just giving up, you can see Rez just hopping in and out of builds, strategically moving with the zone and never giving up lasers from the sky and not even a planet could survive this pressure right now marvin he's working around the build somehow everyone's escaped thomas is going for the beams when an os finds the first they're still staying up it's a patient game reason last alive 2v1 and he could still do it he has all the mats from the eliminated bodies below we're going over a bridge it's going to be a stalemate for about 30 seconds of an and thomas here we got to get a 2v1 with one of the best teams in EU on a high ground with max health spraying down at Rez below. As intense as the situation may be, Rez remains calm. And let's just watch what he does next. Victory out, game one, popped off huge and Reason could clutch and no! Anas is not so fast! Big elbow jump, but Reason claps back! Reason still can't even get the siphon, he does! If he could find Thomas HT, Reason could have the clutch! Oh my goodness, what, what? How about that guys, like even at one point getting down to one HP, and Reason makes confident plays to his best of his ability and never gives up and clutches the 1v2 for the win in the first game on day two of EU. Rez just showcased here the importance of never giving up in Fortnite. You know, even when all seems lost, man, crazy things can happen and really turn the tide in your favor instantly. So no matter what, you know, we always give it our 110% and just never give up. All right, Bunch of Crunch Army, it's time for the question of the day. Today, we want to know what moment from the FNCS you thought was the best. Let us know in the comments below, and we're going to be checking them out. All right, back to the video. All right, guys, so we've looked at some clips from the end game, but now 
Let's shift our attention to a great moment from the early game on NA West. Here we see Reed being the last player alive in his trio after Falconer and Chris die. And he's forced to fight three other players by himself. Okay, so let's watch and check out Reed and see what he does and really just focus on what he controls in the situation. He's out. Falconer, who was the unexpected carry yesterday, really putting the trio on his back in terms of Elam, also going to be down. It's all going to be on Reed, who, while great wall to wall, box to box, only has two bills, back to back, 100 plus tags, though. It's going to check this advance for a second, and I don't think there's a ton of excess shields here. So if Reed can isolate enough, oh, Ooh. he's so good. Hop getting bopped right there, but will it be enough to allow him back in the match? The oh, so oh, good, Reed hitting. Oh, no, 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 no. Back. Okay, so that was just insane, man. A 1v3 is just hard enough to do in a normal game, but especially in the FNCS finals against the best players in the world, man, I mean, that's just nearly impossible. So you can really see the importance of peace controlling and aim here because in this clip, you know, Reed effectively controlled the situation and he used extremely accurate aim to destroy his competition. Reed basically played the situation like a box fight, using the same skills that would be used in a box fight to really come and just sweep the competition. Reed's play here really shows the importance of box fighting skills even in the FNCS Grand Finals. Now, even though this video is mainly focusing on the best moments from the FNCS Grand Finals, I would be remiss if we didn't take a minute to really acknowledge some of the crazy clutches that happened in the reboot rounds. So a lot of you guys probably know, the reboot rounds work a little differently than the usual FNCS games. That's because the team that gets a victory royale in each reboot round really instantly secures a spot in the Grand Finals. And so this makes getting that victory royale so vital in reboot rounds. The reboot round are the teams who really missed out on qualification in the Heat's last chance really to make it to Grants. So this moment here comes from the NA West reboot rounds and features Jibba and his trio. As we watch this clip, okay, I like you guys to really pay attention to the comps and motivation his teammates give. Nice! nice Jibba. It pulls back, it pulls back, it pulls back, it pulls go back. Go get that other loot. No, 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 just, go, just play zone, just play zone. Oh my God. Stay, stay, stay on this layer. Left side, you should go left side. You should stay, you yeah, go yeah. left. And then drop, you gotta drop. You're gonna be second, you're gonna be second. You're gonna be second probably. No, he's, no, no, no. Just drop down left. All the way around. All the way yep, around, yep, baby. All the way around. Let's go. Nice. And that old tarp. Old tarp. Nice. nice. Jibba, you're 16 brick. Nice. Holy shit. No, you're actually clutching so hard right now, Jibba. No troll. Stare yourself off. Nice. You have 14 builds. Remember that. And you have medkit to play if it doesn't yeah. pull to you. Break you're all your wood walls. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Break, break all the wood. Nice. All the wood. Way to take a tick. I was just about to call him that. You're actually insane. This guy's harpoon and you're in wood. Nice. 40 white. 40 white. Let's go. Nice, Jibba. Clean. Clean. Nice, clean. Jibba. Clean, baby. Clean. So here's a good example of how motivating and encouraging Jibba's teammates are. Instead of just making excuses of how they died or just being negative about the state of the game like we often see from down teammates, Jibba's teammates stay positive and encouraging, which is a huge boost for any player's morale when all the pressure's on them. You have your tick as well. Yeah, Remember, yeah, yeah. You have it your might be to worth to play medkit here. Play yeah. medkit. Play medkit. Right here. I I would go next time when you get into this box, maybe. Oh, you have so much more. Nice. No, your walls. Oh. Nice. You're on wood, remember. Yeah, nice. Nice, Jibba. Nice, Perfect. Bro. So keep paying attention to the comms his teammates are giving him. They are clean, concise, positive, and really helpful. I love it. Get a free kill. Yeah, he's white right there, I'm pretty sure. Nice. Nice, Jibba. Nice, nice Jibba. Oh my god. Oh my god. god. Oh my god. 1v2, 1v2. You have a med kit. You can start now. Yeah, yeah. No, 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 no. Play you. 1v1, 1v1, Jibba. Nice! Nice, Jibba, 1v1, baby! No, Wait. 1v2, 1v2, my Wait. bad. Back up, back up, back up. Crazy. That guy's white. The Chinese is white. You're crazy! You're crazy! You're crazy! You're crazy! You're crazy! I can only imagine the amount of pressure that Jibba felt in the moment. Like, the only way that they could qualify for the grand finals was through winning that game. And he had to do it alone. And so that's why, you know, having positive, encouraging teammates who are really there, you know, really to help you strategically throughout the entire thing. It's so important to remain calm under intense situations. Listen, don't ever give up. You know, don't ever give up on anything. And you know what? I, I really do believe like having great teammates and having great people around you really makes or breaks your chances of having a successful pro gaming career. Keep going, man. All right, guys, so that's gonna be it for today's video. You know, we're just scratching the surface here, you know, of some of the best moments in the FNCS, but I hope you guys enjoyed reliving some of these crazy moments, and hopefully, we're gonna be able to learn a few things, man, from the pros, even in the future. Hey, if you guys liked the video, make sure you sub to the channel, and if you wanna connect with me on my Instagram, I'm right here at Your Motivation Guy. Hey, listen, keep grinding, because the grind never stops. I'll see you on the next one. Peace.